Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Under the deck is unexpected income. So for some of you who might be, you know, in kind of a financial pinch or things have been kind of tight financially for you, there definitely could be a big increase in money coming in. So, I mean, first of all, that's always really good to hear about, but let's see more. We have family room. We have privileged lady. And then we have poverty. So it looks like some of you definitely could be having some financial struggles or you might feel like your person of interest is having some kind of financial difficulties. But that could be definitely taking a big turn. Um, let's see here. What's going on here for the collective? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Clear messages and guidance. Under the deck is the butterfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. All right. Okay. This is this is kind of shaping up here to really make a lot more sense. Uh, and again, this could be really specific. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Please don't try to force messages that you know are not meant for you. These are general readings, which means it could resonate for ten people, a hundred, a thousand, or even more people. Um, I feel like there was a person that you had really strong feelings for who may have let someone very deceptive influence them, but they're still hung up on you and very much recognize the mistakes that they've made in regards to choosing something else or someone else over you. Um, this person's going to express how they really feel and it might come as a shock or even be unexpected for some of you. So, girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. And then we have the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So again, the snake, here twice, love call, someone expresses love, thinking of you, a message of love, letting you know, okay? And then we have heartbroken. Um, yeah. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, or mourning. This person's never gotten over you. And that's the thing. It's like you might have saw it then at that time, but this person misses you. They might be with somebody who's maybe a bit of a gold digger or takes advantage of them financially in some way, but they think about what they could have had with you. This person's going to be getting in contact with you to tell you that they never forgot about you, and they see this person for the manipulator that they, that they are. And for some of you, I did a Leo reading. I did two this week for Leo. One of them was really specific. I think it's the first one that's uploaded. You might resonate with that because I'm definitely getting like similar vibes, okay? If this resonates for you. Like they realize the person that they chose to be with is like taking advantage of them, maybe stealing from them, is untrustworthy. Yeah. What's going on here for the collective, please? Okay. Your energy, their energy, what's between you, the obstacle or challenge, okay? Their thoughts about you, their feelings for you, their intentions with you, and actions you can expect. Under the deck is the hangman, Pisces energy. This person just feels stuck. This person feels helpless in a way, like they're in a situation they cannot change, even as much as they want to, they feel like they're trapped, maybe trapped by the devil or someone very toxic or very controlling, Capricorn energy, could be, could be like a, a wife or some type of woman in their life who's making things really hard for them financially, controlling them. This person is not who they claimed to be when they first got together this person takes advantage of them maybe they even use children against them and this person recognizes now the mistakes that they have made
and your energy with the eight of wands it's like you want to say something to this person but you are afraid that if you tell them how you see this or like maybe you've avoided saying something about this person's partner or this other person in their life because you don't want to offend this person or they might get defensive or maybe they won't even believe you for some of you maybe they'll start an argument because again eight of wands is about like you know movement forward it's about conversation that kind of thing but it's like this is somebody who's like trying to walk through like this barrier into like this storm it's like how will this be received by this person if you tell them listen i've noticed some things or you know i don't trust this person like will they get defensive will they believe you but i think this person now sees it you know that they feel stuck they feel trapped by this toxic energy and like they may not have saw it at first but now they realize maybe you were telling the truth you know, this whole time or they just chose not to believe or not to see it. Maybe they have a child with this person for some of you. Um, but with the Queen of Swords here and their energy, they feel controlled. They feel like this person has some kind of influence or power over them. You know, and I think this person is like connecting the dots logically. Like it's, they're making more sense of it. What's between you with the Queen of Cups? Honestly, I feel like... And again, like I said, take it how it resonates. We do not read specific genders here, um, but I'll be I'll be honest when I see something uh, more prominently. So roles could be reversed a little bit, but I feel like there's a man here and two women. There's one who's very cold, very distant, you know, maybe very argumentative, and it's like they view you as the Queen of Cups. Like between you, there is a lot of affection. Like, they view you as this person who's always been so kind, so compassionate, so empathetic, so understanding, so nurturing, so sensitive, so sincere. Like, you know, what you see is what you get. You're not trying to deceive them. You know, you're unapologetically yourself. It's like, even if you tell this person something they don't want to hear, or, you know, you're honest with them. And it comes from a place of love. Even if before in the past, maybe they didn't want to hear it, or they chose to, like, dismiss it or something. Because, again, with the Queen of Cups, it's showing that there's a lot of love between you. And I'm seeing the swan like kind of like, over her shoulder, she's like right behind her back. It's like you've always felt connected to each other, that love's always been there between you. But the obstacle being the emperor is that this person might have some kind of responsibilities or even physically be married to someone else. Um, the emperor can be a person, maybe an older person or someone with a lot of um, obligations, people who have expectations of them. You know, they feel burdened by their day to day life or activities or, you know, so even you know in regards to like their social status or their reputation in the community like they feel like there's these expectations of them that they cannot disappoint others you know people rely on them in some way friends family co-workers maybe they have their own business um or even like there could be like an older masculine energy who has kind of influenced them into making certain decisions like you know family This person was, ver this this other woman, I feel like, was someone who was strategizing to get something. They didn't see it before, but they see it now. Their thoughts about you, Three of Swords. Look at this person, like, holding their face, like, I've made the biggest mistake of my life. I lost the one person who truly loved me for me. I pushed this person away. I made the wrong choice. Heartbreak. What do they think about you? What is this person's thoughts about you? Can you tell us more? What does this person think about you? What does this person think? I think that you're very guarded against them, that you've been hurt by them clearly because they chose a third party, but they still have all this passion for you and they hope that you're gonna be able to, to look past it. Um, if I didn't mention signs, let me just quickly say, we have Pisces, Capricorn, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very strongly, Aries, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, it could be any sign of those prominent signs coming through. When this person thinks about you, there's so much passion, and they know it's not going to be easy. They know that this per they know that they have this person, and this situation has really weighed heavy on your heart and on, on theirs as well. That they hurt you both. Them making this choice did not just hurt you; it hurt them too. But they were too prideful to admit it in the past, and. It's like this person may have even taken their time to kind of say that, you know, you, you were right. You were the clear choice and I was foolish. I was deceived. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know why I chose what I did or 
made this decision, but I was foolish. But they feel like they've lost out on the opportunity of a lifetime, wheel of fortune. You are their destiny. Look at this. Poverty, riches, rags to riches. It's like with this one, sh with one, um, you know, strike of the handle, you know, the, imagine like a, um, a poker machine or something like one of those, I don't, I don't gamble. I don't know you guys, you tell me, you know, like one of those machines where like you, you know, pull the lever and like, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll lose it all. You know, maybe you'll hit the jackpot. Maybe you won't, you know, one wrong move. And you went from having something so potentially beautiful and abundant to losing it all. That's what they feel like. They feel like they made the biggest mistake of their life and they see it now. And it causes them so much pain and distress. What do they feel about you? They feel like they were juggling between you and this other person. And they made a choice. Their ego wouldn't allow them to admit they were wrong in the past. They feel like they could have such a beautiful new beginning with you. Because you're the Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. You're someone who is so abundant and generous and kind. You know, maybe a wife. You know, maybe potentially an ideal um, mother to their children. That kind of thing. Nurturer, caregiver. At intentions with the star is about healing and, it, and the star talks about renewal what are their intentions with you what is this person's intentions with you please reconciliation or the, I mean again you have free will to choose to decide I mean I know some of you watched are going you know what I really do have feelings for this person but they hurt me too much I can't some of you are like you know we'll see what happens it's really up to you but this person will try to reconcile with you because they missed you and they realized they made a mistake what they chose it was not what they expected it was it was it looked too good to be true and it was they rejected you they chose someone else they know that it hurt you they know that you may not want to hear from them that you're very guarded against them um but they're wanting to offer you commitment they're wanting to offer you stability security they know that maybe you might want time to think about this to really consider all they have to say in their actions we see the nine of wands Tell us about the Nine of Wands. Why is this here, please? <clears throat> They're deciding to make an offer towards you, but this person is very scared of being rejected by you. They're still going to reach out and say this, but they're they're very. This person is someone who could be very easily wounded by rejection. They're afraid of what you're going to say. They're trying to be optimistic about it, but they know that they hurt you in the past. They're going to tell you, you know, I want to be more than friends there's something between us that I can't just lay aside. I can't stop having these feelings, these thoughts about you, these desires for you. And I feel like we're meant to be together. And I'm offering you something here and I realized that I was wrong. I'm really afraid, you know, for my financial circumstances that there could be someone here who's taking advantage of them. Um, they held back. They were not honest in the past about how they really felt and that really impacted your relationship and that ended up to them leading to choose someone or something that was not in their best interest, that really denied what their heart really wanted. And they realize how foolish they had been and they're ashamed. They're ashamed of it. They're ashamed of how they let you down and the bad choices that they made. But they see it for what it is now and they're going to try to reach out with you and try to make amends and try to, you know, take action towards you. But ultimately, it's going to be up to you whether or not you're interested in revisiting this with them again. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.